the most complete trading view tutorial. This service is designed for working with charts. Here you can find the best entry points for trading, whether it's crypto, forex or the stock market. First, you need to create an account. Go to the TradingView website, all links will be in the video description and click the Get Started button at the top right. You'll be asked to choose a subscription type. You can read about the differences during registration. In this video, we will use only the free version. Choose to sign up with email. You receive a confirmation mail, which will redirect you back to the page. In the open window, go to the Products tab, Super Charts, and ta-da, you're ready to start. I understand that so many options can be scary, but take a deep breeze, we'll go through everything step by step. First, let's customize the appearance. Click on the icon at the top left and select Dark Theme. Much better. Let's start with the top panel. First, we need to choose a trading pair. You can do it here. For example, if you need a Bitcoin chart, enter BTC USDT in the search and choose one of the options. They differ by the exchange they pull data from. Choose the one where you trade. For example, we'll use Bybit. Click on the red flag on the left to add the pair to your favorites. By the way, Bybit is currently my most reliable and user-friendly exchange. A registration link with bonuses up to $30,000 will be in the description. But back to the trading view. Do the same for Ethereum, as it will be useful for the next step. Then find our Bitcoin pair again and open the chart. The next feature is Compare. Here you can overlay the chart over another. Click the plus sign next to the pair name, search for ETH USDT, click it and a second chart will appear below the main one. And now you compare Bitcoin and Ethereum's dynamics. Here you can also change the display style, let's make it blue for contrast. Now we need to select the time frame, which is the time interval each candle represents. You can do this here. The time frame you work with depends on your trading strategy, it varies for each case. You can also change it at the bottom left under the chart. There is no significant difference, just choose what's more convenient for you. Add time frames to favorites for quick switching. A little further right, you can select the chart type. The gold standard is Japanese candles. They are used everywhere and are easy to understand. Let's keep them. I have a separate detailed video on my channel about how to learn to read and work with them from scratch. You can find it here. Additionally, at the bottom right, there are two buttons. A and L. The first function automatically adjusts candles to your screen, regardless of the time frame. The second makes the chart logarithmic, that is, smoother. Uh, this is useful when looking at price movements over long periods. You can also manually adjust the chart scale by hovering the cursor over the price display on the right and scrolling up or down. Similarly, adjust horizontally by moving the cursor to the time display area and scrolling. Now let's move to indicators. And these are tools you can add to the main chart to make useful insights. For example, the Relative Strength Index RSI shows the strength of a trend and its likelihood of changing. To add it, click here, search by name, immediately add it to Favorites and click Done. You can fully customize the display style to your liking. Additionally, there are ready-made templates that you can try here. They usually consist of a combo of several indicators. Use this with some knowledge. You can read about each indicator on TradingView under the Community, Scripts, Indicators tab. Or just use Google. Next is the easy-to-use alert feature. For example, you can set up an alert for when Bitcoin reaches $56,900 and TradingView will notify you. There is also a feature called Replay. It allows you to start the chart from a specified point. If you trade within a day or even an hour, it's convenient for practice. In this menu, you can choose how many charts will be displayed on one screen. In the free version, only one chart is available, so we'll skip this. Here you can customize the appearance in more detail, go full screen or take a screenshot of the chart and share it on social media. 
The Publish button is related to TradingView itself. Besides everything else, it's also a social network for traders and investors where you can share trading ideas. Now let's move to the right panel. Here we are primarily interested in the watchlist. First, let's clear it. Click here, clear list. Now add the assets you are interested in. To do this, click the plus sign next to the asset name. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Avalanche and let's add Solana. Now you can switch between charts with one click. In the tab below you can see the alerts you've created. You can delete them like this. Next we have the data window for the current asset, then feeds for communication and then idea publication. And now the most interesting part, the toolbar. Here you can use various shapes, brushes and patterns to form your hypothesis. You have complete creative freedom. First add the needed tools to favorites for convenience. Click on the star next to the name. Let's take the basics, trend lines and support resistance areas. A small panel will appear on the chart. For clarity, let's set the time frame to one day with one minute intervals. Click on our trends line and draw from the upper high to the lower high, then do the same from upper low to the lower low. We see they currently have a downtrend, as each high and low is lower than a previous one. Support and resistance zones look something like this. Draw rectangles in the range where the price cannot break upwards or fall downwards. Customize the display style to your performance. You can remove your drawings by clicking on this button or simply press Ctrl Z to undo the last action. The alternative way to determine the trend is using a parallel channel. Find it here, add it to Favorites, apply it to two points on the chart and just extend it up or down. It's even clearer this way. If you need to determine how much the price has changed from a certain point, use the measure tool. It's located here and you can apply it by clicking on any point on the chart. Then just drag up or down to see how much the price has changed in percentage terms. And finally, you can make any notes with brush tool. It's located here. Add it to favorites, activate it on the toolbar and start drawing.